Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another first impressions video for you all. It's going to be on the Makeup Forever HD foundation and oh my goodness, I have been wanting to try this foundation for years. Like, I think since like, I can't even remember for how long, as long as I've been watching YouTube is how long I've been wanting to try this foundation. So I finally had the opportunity to pick it up and I hope it's as good as what everyone claimed for it to be. So yeah, let's just try it out. I have mine in the shade one, wait, N117. I actually have the Makeup Forever HD Primer as well. I have used this before, but because it's a part of the same line, I do want to use it underneath on one half of my face to actually see if it does work, I think. I think that's what I want to do. Like I was debating about it like all yesterday. I was like, oh, should I use the primer as well or shouldn't I? And to be honest, I think I'm going to on one half of my face for the people that want to use primer underneath, especially this primer. And then for people that don't want to know if the primer works or not and just wants to know the foundation alone, they will see the other half of my face. So I'm gonna review it both with the primer and without the primer. So yeah, this primer is transparent. So yeah and it does come with a pump. And it has a really, really nice skincare smell as well. So I'm gonna apply that to one half of my face. So I'm just gonna use one pump, maybe two pumps. Okay, that's two pumps there. And I'm just gonna apply that to one half of my face. I don't know how I'm gonna do my nose, but we'll work that out soon. So just one half of my face, I'm gonna apply this primer. Um, to be honest, I really just find this primer moisturizes more than anything else. Um, yeah. It does have a fragrance, but it's a really, really nice skincare smell. I'm just gonna apply it to the side of my nose. It's really, really hard to apply a makeup product to just one half of your face. <laughs> so it's super, super moisturizing, but it is quite fragranced, the primer. Okay, so I just applied that primer to this half of my face. It doesn't really do much, like in regards to like, pore filling or anything like that like it doesn't neutralize the skin it is completely transparent um, you can't see it at all and it doesn't really fill in the pores at all it does have a nice smooth texture though like as if my skin was super moisturized compared to this side which doesn't have any on it at all okay so now I'm just gonna put on the foundation to this side of my face which doesn't have primer on it just so this side has a little bit of time to sink into the skin that's the formulation there and that's one pump um, it is a little bit runny but not like super runny so that's good, I guess. So I'm just gonna apply that to my face using an angled top brush. It's kind of like, considering how runny it is on my hand, it's a little bit thick to spread, if that makes any sense at all. Like the texture of it's really, really cool. Like I don't have anything like it. So I'm just gonna start applying. It's a really, really good match for my skin actually. That was so easy to blend in, guys. Like that was like just under a pump, like just the tiniest bit of residue left on my hand. But one pump did one half of my face, um, not including my nose. But I really, really like it. Like I have a mirror down here that I'm looking at and I'm really, really liking how it just blended into the skin so well. And it like really, really masked my redness. Like compared to this side, like it's really, really, I don't know, I'm really, really enjoying the coverage so far. It's really, really good. Wow. Like, I'm really, really surprised. I didn't expect for it to cover so much. Like, I expected it to be really, really, like a light to medium coverage that you built up. But wow, this is like a medium coverage. Like, I'll definitely say it's a medium coverage on my skin. Um, just for reference, I do have oily combination skin. The skin on my cheeks is quite normal. And then like my forehead and my, like my T-zone is a little bit oily. So yeah, like that glided on really, really well, even without the primer, like the primers on this side, without the primer, it went on really, really well. And it doesn't have like, that wet feeling that some foundations have, like as if they haven't dried. Like I hate that, like this foundation doesn't have that. I really, really like it. It's not sticky, but it is a little bit tacky, if that makes any sense. Like it's, yeah, it's not wet. You can definitely tell that it's drying, but it's not completely dry yet. I hope that made sense. Mm. So I'm just gonna do another pump. I also wanna see if this has a fragrance. Yeah, no, it doesn't have any like artificial fragrances, which I appreciate. So I'm just gonna apply this to the other half of my face. I'm hoping that because I have put the primer on this side that it goes on 
even better than without the foundation, um, the primer underneath. I look so weird right now. <laughs> and I also have, like, obviously I had redness, or you can see it a little bit, where it has master on this side, but I do have a few blemishes, like here, and here, and just a few there that you can see. So, so far I noticed that it's really, really light on the skin and it's really, really easy to blend out. Like this isn't a full coverage foundation yet, but on the first layer, I'm very, very impressed with how much it's actually covered. I am not even lying when I'm saying this, but I actually prefer how it went on without any primer compared to the primer that's supposed to pair up with this foundation. Like I feel like I'm getting more coverage and it's actually becoming one with my skin on this side, while this side is just like, it doesn't look bad, but this side does look better. Sorry, my camera cut out. So, I would say, from first impressions, ditch the primer. Like, the primer, I don't really like it with this foundation. I do like it with other foundations, but not with this one in particular. As you can see, I have used it a decent amount, like a few times. Um, but yeah, I think that without the primer, it actually looks better. And even on camera, it looks better as well. This is natural lighting, by the way. Um, compared to with the primer, it just doesn't look as good as this side. Just being honest. So I am now going to apply a second layer just to where I need it on my redness just because it is such a decent coverage for the rest of my face already. And this pump is quite controllable as well, like you can get a tiny little bit or you can get a lot. So I am just going to dab a little bit just where my redness is, which is like this area of my cheeks. I'm not too sure if this foundation actually claims to be buildable, so eh. So I do like that coverage. It is a little bit thick, but if you are needing full coverage, you can achieve it with this foundation. Personally, if I was to wear this again, um, I would only use the one layer just because, without the primer of course, but I would just use the one layer because I was quite happy with how much it did cover on the first layer. But if I was going out like on a night out or if I was like, if I knew that I was getting like my pictures taken or anything like that, I probably would do the second layer. Um, although it does look a little bit thick it's nothing that is overly thick hope that made sense so as you can see with this side compared to this side this side is way more perfected than this side with one layer so I'm just gonna dab this over my redness as well so I think that you'd use three pumps and you'd be able to cover like your imperfections like obviously depending on how many imperfections you had and also just one layer on your face. I think I'm quite satisfied with that. I'm just going to dot it where I have like blemish or spots. Blemish. Blemishes. <laughs> so, so far I'm really really happy with both sides. I feel like with two layers this side looks better like the side with the primer and this side doesn't look as good. I don't know it's really really weird like if you're just doing one layer I think without a primer is really really good but if you're doing more than one layer primer looks better that is so weird so weird but yeah like my skin doesn't feel tight or anything like that like both sides feel the same um so i'm really really confused maybe it's just all in my head i don't know what do you guys think this side's the one with the primer this one's the side without the primer what do you guys think so it's currently 8.40, so I'm going to go put on the rest of my makeup and I'll be back. Okay guys, so I've just put on my makeup. It took a little bit longer than normal, but whatever. It's currently 9.25, so I've given this foundation a decent amount of time to sink into the skin and set. Um, I did use the Makeup Forever Matte Bronze Bronzer just to bronze up my cheeks. Um, more contour than bronze. Eh, whatever. Um, and then I also use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and then the Rimmel Stay Matte just underneath my eyes where I put the concealer. So I haven't set this foundation with any powder. So yeah, just again, this side is a side with the primer. This side is without the primer. I'm just going to look up close in a mirror. I feel like the side without the primer accentuates my pores less than the side with primer, which is really, really weird, but whatever. But besides how my pores look, this side looking bigger than this side, I am quite happy with how the foundation looks. Besides that, both sides do look somewhat the same. So, 
yeah, um, I'll check back with you in a little bit. Okay guys, so I'm back for another update. It's currently 2.55 if you can see that on my phone. I feel horrible, I feel sick, and it is so cold. <sighs> but anyway, um, let's see how the foundation looks. So when did I last update you? Like at nine something, I think? So it's been like five-ish, four-ish hours now. And I'm really, really surprised that my nose isn't like super greasy at the moment. I still think the side without the primer looks better than the side with the primer. The side with the primer, the foundation's kind of sinking into my laugh lines, while this side it's only slightly starting to do that, while this side is way more prominent. And my pores definitely still look bigger on this side than this side. Like this side they still look quite blurred and perfected, while the other side it's a bit more like noticeable. But in regards to how the foundation's wearing, I'm not noticing a lot of oil like starting to come to the surface. So considering it's been five hours, that's really, really good for me. Considering I didn't powder and this side I didn't even use a primer. So, so far I'm really, really happy with how the foundation looks. I'm also really, really happy with how my bronzer is wearing on top of it. Like it's actually lasting quite a long time. And yeah, I don't know. So far I'm quite impressed with how it looks. So again, I am not happy with the side with the primer as I am without the primer. Just saying, just being honest. But yeah, so that's my update for the moment. I will check back with you in a little bit. Okay guys, back for another update. It's currently 3.37 and I looked in the mirror and I was just like, oh my goodness, I'm so oily. But a very funny thing that I noticed is this side with the primer is less oily than this side without the primer. Now that's not to say that this side is like completely oil free, it's not, but it is definitely less shiny than this side. So I'm not too sure what's going on there, but I did want to give you that update. Um, it is, my T-zone is starting to get a bit oily as well, as well as my chin is getting a tiny, tiny bit oily. But the skin on my cheeks, that is lasting quite well. I do have normal skin on my cheeks and then my T-zone is just oily. So, and so far it is holding up my bronzer really, really well, which I really do enjoy. So, so far at this point, I would realistically be powdering right now, but I do want to see how long this powder, this foundation will last without me powdering. So I am going to soldier on, so I will check back with you later on in the night. Okay guys, so back for another update. It's currently 9.45. So this foundation's been on for like 12 or 13 hours, like, oh my goodness been on for ages but I'm looking at a mirror down here and I can notice it being a little bit oily especially along my nose and especially along my forehead my nose is a bit more oily than my forehead though I must say that around my nose like here it is getting oily on both sides equally and to be honest the side with the primer it doesn't look much different to the side without the primer I can notice that this side still covers my redness a little bit more than this side, but it's not enough for me to justify recommending the primer to you alone. Okay, so that's the primer out of the way. I don't think the primer is worth the money, at least not with this foundation. It's a nice primer, but I wouldn't continue to use it unless I saw drastic differences. I hope that made sense. Like, it's nice, but it doesn't really extend the wear, it doesn't really do anything. So I wouldn't recommend that. Now let's talk about the foundation. The foundation is the main purpose of this video. I feel like my T-zone, like my forehead, it's really, really oily. Both the side that I have the primer on and the side that I don't have the primer on, both exactly the same. I just feel like it's just quite shiny. My nose is definitely shiny, but there's still foundation there. And that is a main concern for me, if the foundation is still actually there. So it is still there, it hasn't broken down, it hasn't magically disappeared and ran away to like the majestical lands of like missing foundation. That's, that was so weird. <laughs> so yeah, it hasn't really like faded or like wiped away anywhere, which I do enjoy. It's nothing that a little bit of powder and a little bit of touching up won't fix. So at this stage, I am quite impressed with how the foundation looks. Sorry if I keep looking down here, there's a mirror down here. In regards to pore size, the side with the primer actually still looks worse than the side without the primer. Don't know why, 
but yeah so so far I definitely wouldn't recommend the primer I really like how the foundations it doesn't blur your pores but it doesn't make them look as there as this side <laughs> so I really do like that aspect so overall, I'm quite impressed with how this foundation has lasted and performed. Um, and also, it feels very, very lightweight on the skin. Like, it doesn't feel, like, very heavy or like I'm wearing a mask or it's feeling tight or anything like that. Like, it just feels really, really nice. I also like how when you turn your head, um, I was noticing this throughout the day, it wasn't, like, a flat foundation. You could definitely notice the... Like, you could definitely know the features of your face. Like, if you turned, it would, like glow like how you would normally glow if you didn't have makeup on I don't know it was really really beautiful and really really nice um, yeah like I'm quite happy with how it is and how it's lasted so from first impressions I definitely would recommend the foundation to you um, even if you were of more oily skin just definitely set it with a powder I feel like I would definitely need to set it with a powder in the future if you have normal skin I don't know if you would need to just based off how it is on my cheeks don't really get oily there it's quite normal and it has lasted quite well so yeah I would definitely recommend it to both oily and normal skin maybe even dry skin because it doesn't really adhere to dry patches that I have at least um, yeah just obviously if you're oily use powder or whatever like that um, so yeah I'm very very happy with it overall I would most probably recommend it to you based off first impressions if my opinions do change I'll definitely let you know in an upcoming video but so far I can see myself liking this foundation a lot so yeah that's the end of my first impressions video I hope you guys enjoyed please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below what foundations you want to see next and I hope you're having a wonderful day bye